Hi, this is Chef Dennis Pitchford. I'm here at the food show, at the NRA show in Chicago, Illinois, and I'm very happy to be reacquainted with a good friend of mine from Dallas, Texas, my days in Dallas. This is Paula Lambert, who makes some fantastic cheeses and, of course, runs a, the mozzarella company in Dallas. And could you tell us just a little bit how you got started? I think it's a very interesting story. Yes, I used to live in Italy. I went there to study Italian and art history. And then when I went back to Dallas, uh, years later, I decided that I missed fresh mozzarella. And no one had ever heard of it, and I decided that I would start a factory and make it. So that was 27 years ago. And you're still going strong. Uh, it looks like, in fact, I've, I've noticed it's, you've been added quite a nice line of cheeses here in addition to the mozzarella. Can you tell me a little bit about some of the offerings you have? Yeah. Well, I started with the fresh mozzarella, and then I began making ricotta. And you know, ricotta is made from the whey of the mozzarella curds. And uh, then as the years have progressed, we've added, uh, this is a goat cheese that's wrapped in an hoja santa leaf. It's a leaf that comes from Mexico. This is crescenza, which is an Italian style cheese. This one is queso blanco with chilies and epizote. And epizote is a Mexican herb, so this is flavored from a trip I took to Oaxaca. Very fun. And uh, then this is a fresh cottage cheese. You know, people are always thinking about cottage cheese and I wanted to make something, but I wanted mine to be special. So the dressing on it is made from creme fraiche rather than from whatever they make it from, I don't even know. Well, that's delicious. Well, and, and this is, is this your newest then? Uh, this is our newest cheese, the uh, cottage cheese. And then over here we have all aged cheeses. This is a Blanca Bianca, and it's a washed rind, raw milk cheese that is rubbed with white wine as it ages. This is called Deep Ellum Blue, and it has a blue mold only on the exterior. These are Cachotas, and um, this is a cheese that's typically found all over northern and central Italy. It's a cheese that's very mild and made on the farm, sold in all the markets. And I decided that it would be interesting to put different chilies and herbs that were reflective of the Southwest. So this one has Mexican marigold mint, and this one has a combination of chilies in it. This is a rosemary montasio, and this is a a firm cheese, it's a cooked curd cheese, which means that while you're making the cheese, you take the curds and you cook them in the whey to make a drier, firmer cheese. It's the way that Grana Padana and Parmigiano Reggiano are made. And this one has a little rosemary, and this is one from a goat's milk, and then it has a chili rind, so you see this wonderful red chili on that side. And finally, smoked scamorza, which is my take on that is to smoke it over pecan shells because the pecan is the state tree of Texas. So it seems like you're taking a lot of traditional cheeses and giving a little Tex or Tex or Texan or Southwestern uh, taste. And I know your, your, your cheeses have been very popular. You've won numerous awards around the country for them. Yes, you're so nice to mention that. We have. We've won for the best mozzarella many times. We won seven ribbons last year at the American Cheese Society. So I, I love it, you know. Well, if we have uh, anyone uh, watching that would be interested in, in acquiring, I think you just you sell direct from the store, right? Well, we do. We have a website, and you can order online or come down to our store if you're in Dallas. Uh, our website is www.mozzco.com. Well, fantastic. And are there any other uh, new cheeses on the horizon that you're tinkering with at this point? You never know. But you know what I like to do so much is I like to make up recipes to go with my cheeses. So I've written two cookbooks, and uh, it's I love developing the recipes and coming up with these ideas, not only for our cheeses, but for lots of other cheeses. Well, thank you so much. It's been wonderful getting back in touch with you and catching up on all your wonderful cheeses. Thank you. It's great to see you again. Come and visit.